Hello, my fellow handicappers. This is Weekend Handicapper from WeekendHandicapper.com. In this video, we are going to look at some of the best bets, some of the best wagers that you can make if you are brand new to horse racing, just learning how to bet on horses and beginning to learn how to play this game of thoroughbred horse racing. As I record this, it's triple crown season, what I call triple crown season. So right around after the Kentucky Derby and the Preakness, right before the Belmont Stakes is when I'm recording this. And that's when most eyes are on the sport of horse racing. Uh, it gets the most attention in the spring with exceptions some, sometimes with Breeders' Cup in the fall. But for the most part, those that are brand new to horse racing, just learn how to bet on horses, usually come around, around the spring. That's when I get the most attention this sport does. And that's when I get the most messages and the most emails in my inbox from people that are just learning how to bet on horses and want to know how to bet on horses. And one of the most frequent questions that I get is what kind of wager should I make if I'm brand new to horse racing? And that's what this video will cover. This video, I'm going to recommend three kinds of wagers that can really help you learn the game of horse racing, good for you psychologically, and allows you to potentially make some money over the long, long term. So bear with me. You might disagree. If you do, leave a comment below. Let me know. But hopefully those that are brand new to horse racing, you consider these three kinds of wagers. And I think it really help you. One, learn good habits. Two, make some money. That's what it's all about. All right. So before I get to those three wagers that I recommend people that are beginning to learn to bet on horses should implement, let's talk about some wagers that you don't want to make. To me is the place and show bet. That, and I know you, you, you will hear this if you're brand new to horse racing. People say, oh, just learn, just go ahead and bet, make a place bet, play, make a show bet or across the board. Folks, that's bad habits. That is some bad habits. If you want to get good at betting on horses, then don't and start practicing bad wagers where you're making wagers that you will hardly ever make any money. So I think it's why people recommend this. And look, I when I first started out, I I did some experiments because it, to me it was easy to bet the show wager. Right? It should be pretty easy to to pick a horse that can finish in the top three. It's not that easy, but it you have to be very consistent at picking those kinds of horses. But you can't be that consistent uh, to to make to profit in the long term with show bets. They just don't pay enough, and you have to be in, crazy consistent. So. If you're learning how to bet on horses, psychologically, yeah, it might feel good to cash tickets or say you were right. But if you're, if you're in this to make money, then you don't even think about place and show wagers as an option. Again, if you disagree with me, leave a comment below. But I've yet to make, meet anybody that's made any kind of substantial money or score betting on place or show. Uh, if you if you see it as a bankroll protector where you won't lose as much money because you covered yourself by betting place or show, which second or third place position, then I got even a better bankroll protector. Don't even bet that race at all. Skip it. Either bet it to win or don't even bet. So if you're brand new to horse racing, hear me out. Strongly consider, if you're just learning, if you still got the training wheels on, don't even bet the place or show bet. It's not even in your vocabulary. Don't even think about it. Go right to the win bet. In incur some more risk, and you could potentially make, some, make more profit. Eliminate the place and show bet. Don't even think about betting them because they're hardly ever profitable, especially in the long run. You ain't going to hit that many in, in a, 
that many place and show bets where it can justify you making that kind of wagers over the long term because they ain't they just don't return enough so eliminate place and show bets go right to the win bet that's our number one wager to make get good with good old-fashioned win bets i know there's dinosaurs just like the win win bet place show and across the board back in the day that's all you could bet really so they're dinosaurs but there's the win bet is great the win bet is great i know we live in a day and age of rainbow pick sixes and super effectives and everybody's out to take down this pick five and stuff if you're brand new to horse racing let's don't even think like that we got so many wagering opportunities which is great if you know what you're doing and if you're confident and you're skilled at handicapping and betting it's great but until you get to that level keep it simple keep it nice and basic and it doesn't get more basic the, that's the essence, really, of horse racing uh, for most of its history. It's just learning who's going to win the horse race. And you bet it to win. All right? Because it, it's like going in a grocery store and you, you're in a cereal aisle and you got all these, this is what today's wagering menu is like. You got all these different varieties and different kinds of cereals you could choose from. And you're like, oh my gosh, the Fruit Loop sound good, Wheaties sound good. I'll look at the honeycombs down there, man. And that's like our wagers that we have. We have all these super effectives, high fives, and uh, rainbow pick sixes. There's just so many. So you can get overwhelmed. So let's keep it simple. And if you're back to the cereal thing, if you're like, man, I don't know which one to take. It look, they all look good. And you, you end up leaving the cereal aisle because you can't make up your mind on which one to do because there's so many choices. So keep it simple. Start with win bets, all right? If you're going to get fancy, don't get much fancier. If you remember, this is for beginners. Beginners, those just starting betting on horses. If you're going to get a little bit more fancy, you can't beat the exacta. The exacta is so popular. People love this bet. It's one of the most popular bets at the track. That's where you're trying to pick the first place finisher and the second place finisher in the right order. And on the, on the skill level, it's a little bit up from the wind bet but not as hard as a trifecta or a superfecta so it's it's good plus you could you could see the probables you'll know what kind of returns you're getting so learn how to bet the exacta if you are confident in betting the wind bet that again i want you to focus on win bets if you're beginning let's get used to picking some winners at good prices at good value once you learn how to do that you carry that over into the exactus and that you're looking to do the same same kind of principles apply finding good horses that other people uh, aren't liking as much and that offer value those exact combinations are paying pretty good and it's worth the risk so exact is picking the first and second place finishers in a horse race and then the third wager to to get good at to learn if you want to get good at betting horses and making money betting on horses is the daily double or the double that's where you pick the winner of a horse race in two consecutive races now this is the same principles apply you know how much money you're getting you know which ones are worth betting on which combinations you should uh, leave alone and a lot of these uh, tutorial videos that I have on this channel, the Weekend Handicapper channel, I made some videos about the daily double and the doubles and the exactas, so you can refer to those. And I'll have plenty more in the future coming out. But keep it simple. Don't get sucked in by all the hype or you turn on TVG and somebody's always got a pick four ticket or pick five ticket. A lot of these uh, different channels and, and uh, yeah, each ADW seems like they got people touting pick fours and pick fives that didn't mean that's what you should bet right just because you see it on tv keep it simple if you're just beginning to learn how to bet on horses win bets exactas and daily doubles or doubles if you stick with those three if you become good at those three wagers i guarantee you're going to start losing a lot less or if you're beginning you're going to start winning right off the bat for the most part not every day but over the long term, 
I think you're going to get a nice combination of cashing tickets, which is great for the psyche. Like, oh my gosh, this is kind of fun. I won money. A lot more money than I ever could on a scratch off over the long term. You're going to win more often than you will on a scratch off. And when you win, you're probably going to win more money than you ever will on a, on a scratch off or in the lottery. So horse racing is great in, in that respect. You can use your skill, your intellect, your mind, and your emotional control, self-discipline to profit in this game. And some of the wagers that make that increase your chances of doing that are the win bet, the exacta, and daily double. On down the road, we're going to, you can play those pick fours, pick fives, super effectives. But for now, if you're just beginning, stick with those three wagers. It's going to be great for your, um, your mind because you're like, oh my gosh, I'm building up some confidence. I picked the winner of that race. I linked up the first two finishers in that race. I picked two consecutive races, the winners of two consecutive races in a row. That confidence and that profit, if you bet them right, you'll profit. And you'll just get, it's just like anything else. You know, you go to high school. Then if you go on to college, you get your associates or trade school. And then if you want to get a little bit more advanced, you get your bachelor's degree. And if you want to get a little bit more advanced, you get your master's degree. And if you want to get a little bit more advanced, you get that PhD, become a doctor, doctor of handicap and doctor of wagers. That's what we're trying to do. Let's start at the bottom. Let's learn our ABCs and let's learn the fundamentals. And then we can progress to those more difficult and more potentially <laughs> life changing uh, wagers. But until then, let's keep the training wheels on, little baby steps, and don't even think about that place and show bet. Let's focus on the win bets that are offering value the exact is that are offering value and the daily doubles that are offering value. You know what you're getting in return when you bet those and you have a higher probability of hitting those waiters on a fairly consistent basis if you know what you're doing. And that's what we're here to help you out with here at Weekend Handicapper. Now, what if you are a beginner or if you've been playing a while, what wagers would you recommend somebody betting? if they are just beginning to learn how to bet on horses. If you remember, if you disagree with me on those place and show bets, please leave them in the comments below, but I love to hear what bets you like to make. Leave those in the comments below. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm more than happy to be a place and show hater. Right from the beginning, I thought about, and I talked to people, how can I make money in this game? What bets give me the most opportunity to make money in this game? And that's the ones that I learned. Nobody made money placing show bets. Nobody. Not in the long term. So it's a grind. And it, all right, enough. I'm enough place. I don't want to disrespect anybody's wagers, but I'm just trying to help the people out out there. And I think if you're beginning learning how to bet on horses, win bets, get good at them, Zactas get good at them, doubles get good at them. All right? All right. All right, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you hadn't already, I appreciate it if you subscribe to this YouTube channel, Weekend Handicapper, and hit that notification bell so you get all the latest tips, tools, and resources from Weekend Handicapper to help you make money on thoroughbred horse racing. Until next time, happy handicapping and smart waging.